Good day, panel. We are the group Research Yarn, and the title of our research is Improving Natural Ventilation of a Typical Depth Ed Building Design in Tagulwan National High School in Response to COVID-19 Situation. Since the rise and threat of the COVID-19 pandemic, many countries around the world have decided to temporarily close schools that have affected millions of students. The trial of face-to-face -face lessons will begin in 2022 with the goal of improving education quality and student mental health. According to LCSKI, during the COVID-19 pandemic, it is important that ventilation problems in K-12 schools be addressed now. Improvements in ventilation in K-12 schools can reduce the risk and transmissions of SARS-CoV-2 and other diseases. Ventilation is more effective as a mitigation tool than face masks combined with other mitigation measures such as physical distancing. In addition to mechanical ventilation in HVAC systems and other accessories such as ceiling fans, natural ventilations, example opening windows, can provide air exchange that can decrease the infection risk. For our related studies, it is important to study the ventilation conditions of school buildings and to explore effective means to improve the ventilation design of the school buildings. Ventilation by windows is widely used. Window mode, window size, and installation location affect the efficiency of ventilation. The factor that significantly affects the air exchange rate is shown to be the openings of window and door, and it can be easily controlled by the occupants. Window types may obstruct the airflow through the window opening. The ventilation rate could be substantially different through a simple opening. Our research intends to answer the following questions. What type of window design can be used to effectively improve the natural ventilation of the building? Does the existing site condition affect indoor air intake? And what are the recommended ventilation guidelines to add in order to satisfy the improvement of indoor ventilation? The aim of our study is to identify what architectural elements that needs to change in order to add, to assess the effectiveness of the different window designs and opening rate that can be applied in the building interiors through conducting computational fluid dynamics or CFD simulations, and lastly, to establish ventilation strategies that cater the improvement of natural ventilation of a typical depth ed building design. For our scopes and limitation, the focus building is a two-story depth ed building design that can be found within Tagulwan National High School. The researchers will change and or add window designs rather than redesigning the overall structure. And lastly, the effectiveness of window designs relies on the results provided by the CFD simulation software used. For the data presentation, we conducted a survey in which the respondents are the teachers and students and other staffs that has a experience inside the building. And these are the results, but the only result that we give focus is the question number three, in which it asks on what is the temperature in the morning and afternoon inside the building. The majority said that during the morning, the temperature is warm. And then the majority said also that in the afternoon, the temperature is hot and next to the majority is warm. For that result, we draw a partial conclusion and that partial conclusion will be validated or will be finalized after the first simulation of the building. So this is the result of the first simulation. As you can see, the interiors of the building is seen to have a majority of yellow air velocity. Yellow air velocity is indicated as moderately slow velocity. For the second simulation, in which we change the existing window with sliding windows with an opening rate of 50% and minimize the interior furniture such as cabinets and armchairs, the result still shows a majority of yellow air velocities. So, wala pagyapon siya improvement na nahitabo. And lastly, this is the result of the simulation tree, in which we change the sliding window to a casement windows with an opening rate of 80% and we also added clerestory windows and changed the door transoms to owning window. Eliminates furniture along the windows and provides a new armchair arrangement layout. So the goal of the simulation is that dapat ang interior is uh, majority na dapat green ang makita which is a moderate air velocity. So for the result of the simulation tree, it can be found that majority of green air velocity can be seen in the interiors. And then there is also an improvement because naanay sayan na makita makasulod, which indicates improvements on the changes 
that we input and we added. So for the conclusion, the recommended architectural features to improve the natural ventilation of the building are Number one, change the existing window designs to casement windows. Number two, add clever story windows. Number three, change door transoms to owning window. The results during the first simulation show that the existing site condition affects the air intake due to obstructions of trees to the ventilation. And according to related and similar studies, in order to offer adequate ventilation, both exterior and interior architectural features that can enable adequate air ventilation must be improved. For the architectural guidelines, these are the recommended architectural features to improve the building ventilation. Number one is casement windows paired with clerestory windows. So there are three types of casement and clerestory windows that the researchers recommend with the corresponding window location. So the type A window is located in front. It will serve as the facade. Makita siya sa facade sa building. And then ang type B window will be seen at the back. And then, type C window will be seen at the back also. What are the advantages of putting clerestory windows? In this diagram, you can see the movement of air. And this is where the explanation goes. Cold air is denser than hot air, in which the hot air rises as stated by the ideal gas law. Clerestory windows serves as the outlet of hot air. This results in improved thermal comfort for the room interior. This also supports the improvement of the building's cross-ventilation strategies. And for the last guideline is change the door transom to owning window. Doors are paired with owning windows. This is to improve the building cross-ventilation as well. As we end our research study, we answered all the research questions that we formulated. And also, a new body of knowledge has been acquired. Thank you.